Masks. I've got about 50 ready for purchase. Each has an opening for a filter option. $5 each. Meet in Green Hills. <laughs> what a shame to charge so much. I don't think $5 is unreasonable. It's like 50 cents to make, and people need them not overcharged. Maybe you could make some for 50 cents, and we could buy yours. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, this person's going to complain about them selling the mask for $5. But if it's really 50 cents to make, and it's that easy, then you make the masks, and you sell them for 50 cents. Have fun, buddy. <laughs> What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Neil, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash choosing beggars. Let's get into it. User liked your comment so much that they've given it the Reduce, Reuse, Recycle Award. They've included this note. Had a bad day. Thanks for making me laugh. As a reward, you get this special Reduce, Reuse, Recycle Award icon on your comment. Very dapper. Are you freaking kidding me? I spend my time writing a funny comment and you give me a worthless award? You should at least give me a gold. Jesus Christ, F you. I'm sorry, I don't have enough coins to give you gold. I gave you all I had left. <laughs> the way that he said that last message makes me feel so bad for him that he wasted his award on this scumbag of a person. Ugh. Yeah, you didn't get a gold, but somebody still spent their coins on you, and you're so ungrateful. Oh my god. That's an extra $40 or so. Yeah, around there. Would you do $170? No, nah, sorry. It's selling consistently on eBay for $350 plus, with game and $40 shipping. I brought it to $240 to allow even a full price game purchase. Multiple people are selling for $250 on OfferUp with the game. That's why I was thinking $200. <laughs> That's a steal. You should pick it up from them for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're not going to pick it up from them for that. Because if it was actually on OfferUp for that price, guess what? They would just go on OfferUp and buy it for that price. They're just trying to talk this dude down with the dumbest tactic ever. Like, if it's actually for sale on the other site and it's exactly what you want, Go buy it from them, dude. <laughs> Build me a desk. <laughs> yeah, right. Do it, punk. You couldn't afford it if I did. Not buying it. You can build it for me. No one would buy your crap wooden trash anyway, <laughs> LMAO. There's your problem. Everything costs money. Your garbage won't even cost a cent. <laughs> yeah, because it's not going to get made for you, buddy. You're a little cheapskate that expects everything to be handed to you for free. It's going to take time to build a desk, dude. If you want a desk built for you, you need to pay for it. Simple as that. Dear Influencer, Before you send that email asking us to collab with you in return for free products to post on your social media pages, please stop for a second and think. Think about the restauranters, food producers that have zero income for a month, the possibility of a 50% drop in revenue for the next few months. Think about the people whom you are asking for stuff from free to boost your own profile. We are all trying to sustain our businesses through rocky waters. It's time for you to bring value to your local businesses and go order some food from your favorite places. Pay for it, post it, feel good about it. You just helped a small business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real influencers don't go around begging for sponsorships. Real influencers get emails from people who want to sponsor them. They don't need to beg for it. If you're an actual influencer, sponsors will come to you. That's why, unfortunately, I have no sponsors. Oh. <laughs> why did you put our conversation on Reddit? Make me my channel banner or I'm reporting you. That's funny, I thought you blocked me. So I guess this means you couldn't find somebody willing to make you a banner for $1 then? <laughs> F off. Just make me my banner and I won't report you for wasting my time. You know what? You're right. How could I turn down such a handsome payment? <laughs> oh, and then he makes the banner. <laughs> I'm a choosing beggar. <laughs> I like that banner. You know what? I'll tell you what. If you guys get this video 100 likes which is a huge ask, I'll make that my banner. <laughs> uh, I hope you like it. 
such a waste of my friggin' time. You get what you pay for, especially when you also waste my time. Have a nice day. Screw you. Reporting. Your account is going to get deleted. Good luck with the channel. Jump off a cliff, you piece of trash. Blocked again. <laughs> oh, this guy is ridiculous, man. They always expect free stuff. Like, or, or really cheap stuff, man. I, I He was offering it for a dollar. I can't say free, but nobody's going to make you channel art for a dollar. And if they are, it's going to look like the one that he made you. <laughs> Dear PetSmart, I'm Alexis, and I've been wishing that I could have a leopard gecko. My parents went to your store, and if the leopard gecko was cheap, they would get it. But it cost $50. They said that was way too expensive. Also, you have to pay for a 10 to 20 gallon tank. Also, a light or a heating pad. That would cost over $100 to get all the stuff. And I only have $112. Please, please, please make the stuff cheaper. You guys are the best. By the way, I'm 10 years old. I hope you're soon customer. Alexis. <laughs> oh, I feel like her parents made her write this because they didn't want to spend the extra money on the leopard gecko. <laughs> They're like, oh, we could use our 10 year old to guilt trip them down to a little bit lower of a price and then we'll get it. <laughs> Hi, I don't know if you remember me, but we used to go to school together in Dubai. I sat opposite you for most classes. Well, your email was on your Facebook and I know that you're doing art now. So I was wondering if you would paint me something to go in my house like a big mural or something. It would need to be done in the next couple of weeks or so, cause I'm sure you're not doing much due to the pandemic. Anyway, let me know what you think. Hi, when you say Dubai, do you mean in year two? Because I'm having a hard time placing you. But anyway, I'm still doing my essays for the end of the year, but I think I'll be able to work on something. Exactly how big are you wanting this painting to be? I have a couple of canvases already primed at my house, so you're in luck. There's one that's 2 meters by 2 meters, or one that's 1.5 meters by 3 meters. Also, exactly what are you wanting me to paint, because that might affect how long it takes. Thanks. Hey, I can't believe you don't remember me. That's actually a bit rude. But anyway, it's going to be a picture of me and my dog. It's his mom's birthday coming up. And I know she'll just love it, cause she loves us so much. For the size, I was actually wanting a whole lot bigger. Maybe 5 meters by 7 meters, because it's going to be a statement piece. For time, I need it done in 2 weeks, please, as that's when her birthday is. Also, I won't be able to pay you until this whole pandemic thing is over, just in case you're about to ask price. I don't know if you know, but my mom owns a hairdresser's, and she would be willing to come to yours and do your hair when she picks up the painting in exchange. Hi, as nice as that offer is, I think I'm going to have to decline. For starters, for me to get a canvas that size would cost a lot of money and labor, not even factoring in the pandemic, to just get it to mine. Then it would take me way longer than two weeks to paint something that size. Also, if I'm not going to get paid for it, then there really isn't any point in me going out of my way for this. I'm sorry. Thanks. Wow. OMG, you're so friggin' rude. First, you're like, I don't even know who you are. And now you're like, I'm not even getting paid. What is it about a free haircut that you don't understand? People are literally out on the streets demanding haircuts. And here's me offering you one for free. Second of all, you've met my mom. And now you're actually ruining her birthday by refusing her gift. So I'm telling her that this is all your fault. I knew when I met you that you'd be useless. So friggin' selfish. Don't ever contact me again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you'll have to worry about that. <laughs> what is it with these people? FTB. I don't know if I'm being petty here, but I feel like I'm not. So my ex-husband remarried and has kids with his wife. She owns a business, and I found out that she makes almost a million dollars a year. My ex works and gives me $900 a month in child support for our daughter. But I don't think it's fair. 
I told him that it would be nice if he sent me more for my daughter. He told me that his wife and his accounts are not together. But honestly, I want to take him and his wife to court to get the max amount I can for my daughter. I work from home and my husband is in the army, but we're struggling. It would be nice to have that additional income that my daughter deserves. What do you guys think? <laughs> uh, I think you're trying to use your daughter as an excuse to get a piece of that money that your ex-husband's wife is slaying in. <laughs> You definitely don't actually want this money for your daughter. You're just using her as a token in your argument. It's $15 each, or four for $50. The price is non-negotiable. It's already half off retail. I got one for $10 from this person a month ago. Cool. The same. I'm not interested in your offer. I don't want to drive there tomorrow. It's fine, but be fair. I don't care whether you want to drive or not. That's the lowest it is. <laughs> uh, if you got one for $10 from that person just not too long ago, then go back to them and get it for $10 again. Otherwise, if they don't have any, guess what? You're paying $15. End of story. We could all use a group nug. Come to the Wendy's drive-thru today and get your free four-piece nuggets. You guys have the audacity to only provide one four-piece nugget per car? When you know, in fact, that families will risk traveling to Wendy's to get their free nuggets just to only be told they get four? This is a marketing scam, Wendy's. I love Wendy's, but this is foolish and disappointing. <laughs> yeah, it's so foolish of them to give away free stuff to ungrateful people like you. <laughs> All right, Mata Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash choosing beggars. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and share this video with your friends. Till next time, peace.